This morning, I am waking up just a stone's throw away from Inverness along the Great Glen Way, as I have a little micro-adventure around Loch Ness. 80 miles overnight adventure around the famous loch, the loch that holds an estimated 263 billion cubic feet of water, which is more than all the water in all the lakes, rivers, and reservoirs in the whole of England and Wales combined. It's said to be home to the famous Loch Ness Monster. I would be starting my adventure early in the morning, just as the sun was peeking its head through the trees. When the weather's this good in Scotland, I think it's a perfect time for a little micro adventure, a little overnighter around Loch Ness. The skies are blue, not much wind, and I'm just looking forward to a nice relaxing pedal around Loch Ness. But go find the Loch Ness Monster. As I made my way along the flowy Great Glen Way with the sunshine rising in the sky, making my way through the tree-lined single track trails and the forest tracks, it wouldn't be long until I got my first glimpse of this impressive lock. When you first see it, you can't but stop to take it all in. The beauty and the sheer size when looking down upon this lock. It is truly impressive. And as blue and clear as it looks from above, the lock is actually pitch black due to the peat washed from the hills into the lock. With depths of 227 meters or 745 feet, the Golden Gate Bridge could be all but one foot submerged. It is so, so nice out here today. So peaceful, so sunny. I've got about 63 miles to go. It's a very uh, short route, although Loch Ness, when you're up high, it's just, it's just massive. <laughs> when you look down on it, the sheer size is quite like, wow. Impressive. The idea of today is to uh, get around to the other side of Loch Ness, and uh, I really want to find like like a really cool campsite, a little camp spot looking over the lock. I think that would be awesome. Hopefully, we can find something like that. I've seen a couple spots like that on this side on the way, so hopefully there is some on the other side. But. It's just so beautiful out here today and uh, being such a short route I can chill, I can take my time and stop often because I'm also you know not that remote so it's nice and uh, easy on the mind they don't have to think of everything that you've got to do you don't have to think oh my bike's got to keep working I've got to keep working because ultimately there's a shop somewhere or some built up place within the first, within a probably a 10 mile radius of wherever you are. So 
Nice, but I'm gonna start heading back up after a good chicken breakfast. Let's go and enjoy these trails. Climbs around the Great Glen Way certainly do pack a punch, but every now and then the tree cover opens up and you get treated to the panoramic views of Loch Ness and the surrounding beauty of the Scottish landscape. Pedaling around the steep trails on such a calm day was pure bliss, if not a little scary at times, as I made my way around to the halfway point of this adventure, Fort Augustus. So I've just come through Fort Augustus and I've got like 40 miles to go. I'm about to head up to the highest point on this route, which isn't crazy high, about 1300 feet I think. It's about the next sort of six, seven miles is pretty much all uphill. And I'm going to start searching for that epic camp spot. It's so early, it's only like I think half, two, maybe three o'clock now. Um, but once I get to the top, if I can find a decent spot I'm gonna set up early have a nice easy day tomorrow got a really long downhill once I get to the top of this climb so happy days it feels like summer has started very late this year because it's really quite hot right let's start climbing this view though it's so good Stingers on this route, how are Heading up to the highest point of this little micro adventure packed a punch. Some of the trails around Loch Ness are sharp and steep. They really get your heart pumping and legs burning. On occasion, resulting in a little hiker bike. But just like so much of these trails, when you reach the top, you are treated with epic views and fun flowy descents.
that feels so nice. Ah, oh, cold, wet feet. Ah, oh, feels good. I'm currently, I've currently nearly already descended the whole descent now. I'm still looking for somewhere to camp. I'm not having much luck. I might have to come off the trail a bit. I've only really got like 28 miles or something to go. There's like two climbs and then that's it. I could easily finish this in a day, but I don't want to finish this in a day. I mean, it would make a great little day ride, but um, I do want to find somewhere really good to camp. I mean, this spot isn't bad, but I really wanted a view of Loch Ness. So I'm currently just uh, eating some uh, fruit loaf. Just looking at the map, um, just trying to find somewhere to camp. I'm never really, like on the other side, you're right up against, like looking down on the lock. This side, you're kind of a bit further away and you can't really see it as well. Um, there is a few forest tracks down, down there and then towards it, but I don't know if they'll be any good because it would just be forests. I don't know, I'm just going to continue eating fruit loaf and figure out somewhere to camp. Well, I'm still looking for somewhere to camp. I've sort of come off route now, I'm just sort of just literally right by Loch Ness, hoping there might be a little like bit down here at some point. I don't know if there will be, but it's, it's so calm, it's so quiet. Just a gentle splash of water. Bet it's cold though. Let's just look at it. This might turn into a, a day adventure. So a kind of bike pack in the uh, Loch Ness. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully I can still find somewhere. Still got to find somewhere to camp at some point. Don't want to go all the way around again, just to get back to my camp spot. Let's keep following it. I think I found the spot somewhere. It's not on all this rubble. It's just up here. There's a nice bit of grass. Clearly lots of people have camped here before because there's loads of little uh, fire residue oh, up here, maybe, yeah, okay. I lost my bike again. It is a little bit close to the road, but what can you do? There's a road right by this lock. One fire pit. Another fire pit. But I think I'm going to be able to set up the tent right here. It's nice out of the way. And uh, I can go down and have a swim. Maybe I should have a swim really, but I don't know if I can really uh, be bothered. But I'm going to get the tent set up because it's getting a bit warmer. I think the midge, there are a few midge around. So I want to get this tent set up and uh, before they attack, hopefully not because they should have pissed off by now. But because it is starting to get a bit warmer, let's get the tent set up. Okay, I changed my mind and I found somewhere else to camp. Not very far from where I was, I just walked along a little bit, found this awesome little spot here. And it's uh, much nicer because you get a nice view. So, you know, and that's not even the best bit. I know. It's not that amazing view behind me. It's not even that. It's better than that. This is so cool. Best thing you've ever seen since last time I found one, at least. There you are. Granted, I'm too fat and I make it touch the ground, but tire swing with that view like that.
They come in like a wrecking ball. Just to think, just this morning, I was somewhere up there. And I've come all the way along here, all the way past where you can even see to where I am now. What a great day. Great trails, great fun. Just, uh, yeah, I'm definitely ready for a nice sleep of the peaceful sound. I love nothing because there is really no sound here. It's really quite quiet apart from the odd car that goes past, but we'll just ignore, ignore that. As always, I see you bright and early in the morning for a very, very easy day of around 10, 15 miles at max back to Inverness, which is just that way. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this view. And as always, I see Brian early in the morning. Finding my camp spot at the time I did was just perfect. It meant time to relax as the sun was getting lower in the sky. Loch Ness with not much of any sound apart from a gentle ripple of water on occasions. I didn't brave a late night swim today, but with Loch Ness so calm, with barely a ripple, it was perfect conditions to enjoy some stone skimming as the sun set in the distance. At some point in the night, the calm still lock changed to a gentle ripple and the water splashed gently onto the shore. I would be waking up to yet another beautiful day with low clouds passing over the lock. could have happily sat here for another day and enjoyed just how peaceful everything felt. But it was time to pack up camp and get underway for an incredibly easy morning of just over 10 miles left to complete my little micro adventure around Loch Ness. I would have a nice winding pedal following the River Ness all the way back to Inverness, the UK's most northerly city, completing my little beautiful micro-adventure around the stunning Loch Ness. Mm -hmm. 